Today we will discuss about how to create a floating column chart or step column chart in our Power BI report. Although Power BI visualization are limited, we are able to create this type of visuals by just using either stack column chart or our stack bar chart. So let's just discuss on how are we going to achieve this type of visualization. First, we just click on this report and see what are our data needed. First, we have our axis, is it's our month from January to December. For legend, actually, we have two values over here. First is our monthly sales, which represented in green boxes over here, green column box over here. And then actually, we have another data, which is our cumulative or running total from the previous month. So how are we going to see this is because if we make the data color and the data label similar to our background, we are able to hide it and make it our floating column chart. So if we change any other color, for example, purple, we are able to see the bottom information, which are all our values. So what are these values actually is our previous month cumulative. Today we will discuss about how are we going to achieve this where we have information just for the money sales which is our green portion and how to generate the information for the bottom part. So let's just take a quick note first. For January, the bottom information will be always zero and then for February, we will, take, we will try to create a cumulative number based on the previous month. Similarly for March, we Need to create a cumulative for the previous month we need to record now so we will look at our data source on how to create this portion of information so let's just have change it back then let's just look at our data source which is our sales table so what we have here is our year month and then month number we have our we remove this first. We have our amount, sales amount. So in order to generate the number for the cumulative, we will go to add column and then custom column. We will call this our previous running total. For January, as stated, it will always be zero. So we will create a zero based on our month number is equal to one. So for January, we will return always return a zero. Else we will create a cumulative. So we will use list sum to sum out a list of numbers. And we will also use list range dot range to identify what are our range. So we will use the amount column over here. And then in Power Query, this table will be called, uh, will be using hash and then the step name over here is our table. So we will key in change type. And then we will use the column amount. So we will have a list based on this column. Then we will create an offset based on the year. So we will accumulate it from Jan until December by separate by each year. So we will create a dot, we will offset by 12. In order to create an offset by 12 based on year, we will key, use the year column. And then we will minus our year, the first year in our data set. So for my case is 2019 and then we will minus off and then offset by 12 by multiplying 12 and then since we are doing the cumulative based on previous month we will use the month number of the previous by minusing one and then there we have it. So for the first January it will be always zero using the if statement then for the second portion, 
you always provide us the cumulative number from the previous month. For example, in February, we create a list range based on this number. And then for March, we will have these two numbers as our list and then we sum it up in our list one. So for every year over here, from here to here, we just now we create an offset. So our cumulative will be offset by 12 and then we'll do similar thing offset by 12 again and then we will start all over by generating a list from here over based on the year. That is where our offset come in. Then this is the function we need for our custom column. Then we will unpivot these two columns. In order to make the legend transparent, we will replace it this with a space. And then the amount we will name it money sales. And then for this data type, we will make it fixed decimal number. And then these are the transformation we need for our report. We'll go to home, apply and close. We will open a new page to create from scratch. Here we already have slicer to slice our report based on year. Now we just need to click in our stack column chart. For the axis, we'll pull in our month. And then for our legend, is our attribute. And our values in our values. So now we have all the information to we need. In order to make it floating, we just need to change the data color for the bottom cumulative part to match our background. In this case, white. Right, for the default color and uh, our monthly sales any color for this case the screen and then to pull in our data label we just turn it on so for my case i don't want the currency to appear if we go to values we just make it to decimal number Okay, this should be enough. And then to show the cumulative number for each month for that particular year, we just need to turn on our total label. So there we have it. So let's recap what we have done. Basically, we create a custom column for the cumulative number in Power Query. So for January, it will always return zero. And then we need to create a list by using list range for the table. We use the change type, which is our previous step, and then the amount over here, the column over here. So we will offset by 12. So this portion offset, which means for the first year, it will always be 0. Second year, be 12. The third year, it will be 24. For the all the months from January to December, it will offset by 12. And we will base create a, a cumulative based on the previous month to generate a number which is 0, 1, 2, 3 as such flagged by the month number. If the month is 1, we will have 0. And then the list sum will sum it up for us. So since the if statement will uh, create a 0 number, we will ignore the first row for every year. And then the subsequent one, Power BI will generate a list and then sum it up. For example, for February, we have 3.42. For March, we have 3.42 and 4.22 in our list range. And then we use list sum to sum up these two numbers. So this is the function and formula for the custom column. Once we did that, basically, we just unpivot these two columns. To make the bottom portion transparent at the legend too, we just 
replace it with a space and then all our information will be in one column and we pull the values to the values in the stack column chart so for the first one it has zero so it will looks like this and then for the second one we have the cumulative number in so the information will be at the bottom for the space over here and all the monthly sale will be on the top of the same time that's all we need for this visualization so it will be useful if you like this type of chart in your report you can do as such for example you are able to select by month and then for this value you can actually uh, set a target for your report by clicking analytics and then you will key in constant line so you can key in your figures and your title or alternatively you can also have your line in a separate table and then you can key in based on your year value where your target sales are what amount for example 50 million or anything and then you can also change your reporting month based on the information you have for my case uh, we have a uh, annual target sales and if we reach 85 percent this is our milestone annual milestone and for each one we have a cumulative target represented in this triangle for example we are expecting to hit uh, 21 million in may but actually we only hit 17.04 so if you ever need this type of visualization uh, these are the steps you need to do okay that's all